Hi, this is Christopher at the Denver Starfest 2011, and with me today is Luciano Caro. Thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me. I wanted to talk to you, uh, first of all, because this is your first Starfest. Yes, so it I is. So I thought that's very exciting. Have you done many other conventions? Or? I, I have done some conventions, but this is the first one I've done in Denver mm -hmm. or anywhere close to Denver. All right, cool. You haven't had, been having fun so far? Yes, it's been so much fun. Yeah, I wanted to ask you, too. I mean, of all the people, your start in acting is kind of unique, I guess, uh, from what I've read, is that your parents just thought, you know, they should, they kind of pushed you in that direction because you were, I guess, a, a shy, Compl you know. Yeah, I was really, I was a really shy kid. Um, if anybody would talk to me, I'd, like, run behind my mom's legs, <laughs> hide, and, like, start trembling. I had a really hard time making friends when I was a kid mm -hmm. because I was so shy. I was always like recess. I was always by myself playing, you know. So, so when was this when they got, was it like in high school or? No, it was elementary school. Elementary, really? Yeah, okay. it was I think seven or eight. Mm -hmm. And my parents, uh, my dad's a hairstylist. So one of his clients was a private speech and drama teacher. And mm -hmm. she, uh, I started studying with her and it was just so that I could like Get Come out of your shell. Yeah, I just mm -hmm. get a little bit more comfortable with speaking to people. Right. And um, that's where it all started. Yeah, so when you started acting and everything, uh, when was it sort of like, what was the moment that, do you remember that would sort of click, that you kind of thought, yeah, this is this is what I want to do? Or was there a moment, or is it? that w This is what I wanted to do? That yeah. happened in high school. But okay. I knew that I had something when mm -hmm. I was really young because I they started putting me in these competitions, and I was winning first place oh, well, yeah, all the time. That was... It says um, something. Yeah. <laughs> well, and obviously there is something there. I mean, you, you audition and you get a role for Battlestar Galactica, and the intent was it was going to be just like a one-off character, wasn't yeah, it? And they, exactly. I mean, somebody saw something and thought, oh, we need to bring this girl back. Yeah, yeah. I was really lucky. <laughs> yeah, now, um, obviously since you hadn't, I, I just don't imagine you did before then, was it kind of a, a learning curve with the space acting with Battlestar Galactica? With the green screen, yeah. I yeah. mean, because the camera's this close to your face and... I'd never, there was, there's nothing to react to, so I had to, in my imagination, imagine things flying at me and react to, the, like, them being far away, getting closer, 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 mm -hmm. you know, and... So you had kind of had to take Viper le flying lessons? Or? Well, no, you know, <laughs> I, the lesson was, you know, action, let's go, learn <laughs> yeah. now, you know, and uh, it gets, you know, you're in this Viper with this mask on, and mm -hmm. so you're really isolated, I and mean, you don't really, you can't see anybody, you can't hear anybody, you got this, like, one guy talking in your ear through this mic, you know. So and it ends up kind of like you sort of uh, feel the part maybe a little bit in that case, maybe. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, after some practice, it was, yeah. it was, it was kind of weird. I, I put a little bit too much work into it the first <laughs> few times. I didn't realize that the camera actually moves for you, and I was like, <laughs> you know, and I pulled my neck once because I was like, so you, you, you were going you, through turbulence. You I thought, thought it should. You thought it was supposed to be like old Star Trek acting, and right. Yeah. And I didn't realize <laughs> that the camera like does this shake, so it looks like you know there's actually actually turbulence when there isn't. So I was like doing the turbulence and right. <laughs> now, uh, uh, is the uh, sci-fi horror genre something you would uh, you revisit again? Definitely, um, yeah. I mean, you certainly the the fan base is out there for you. Oh yeah, no, I I love I love this 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 whole culture. Okay, so then what's next for you then? I'm working on a web series called uh, Icarus 2. Oh, I've heard of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, Michael Taylor, who is uh, one of the producers and writers for Battlestar Galactica, wrote it. Mm -hmm. um, me and Tobias Mueller are starring in it. And, um, yeah. Well, excellent. Well, I want to thank you very much for sitting down and talking with me today. Thank you. I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. And uh, that's it. Thanks very thank much. Thank you so much.